Hey guys, it's Brett. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I can tell I'm getting more used to doing this because literally I started this recording and as I was talking was fixing my hair. <laughs> so, for whatever that's worth. All right, so happy October. Happy uh, new potential books to be read. I've broken out some of my uh, fall colors today, a little shirt that uh, to get me in the mood because the weather here in Southern California certainly doesn't feel like October, but you know, I am, I am trying to fight against that by um, buying as much pumpkin based food items as one can consume. Uh, I moved beyond the pumpkin spice latte and the creamer and coffee cakes and cupcakes not all at once not all at once but um yeah anyway so all right so october 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 tbr i was saying the other day that i sometimes like in october to at least have um uh, a little bit of a seasonal read a little spooky read so i've i in picking these books i uh, have kept that in mind, but I will say this is the smallest kind of TBR I've ever um, kind of thrown together, partially because um, I am still going to try to read. I have five or six books from the National Book Award long list uh, that I'm never going to knock out before they announce the short list, but they were the books that sounded the most interesting to me, and odds are that at least two of them will end up there. So um, part of those are going to end up in my month. And as I said the other day, I'm still reading, I was hoping I would finish it before the end of September, um, Stephen King's Fairy Tale. I've been mostly listening to this, which is a fantastic audio. So unfortunately, it is um, gotten reduced to trips to the gym and back. Uh, I have a hard time on audiobooks sometimes doing, I know some people like clean the house while the audiobook is on, or I, I can't. I can't do that. I find I can drive and listen to an audiobook, but I feel like if I'm doing something task oriented and listen to a book, I, I somehow my brain can't um, uh, compartmentalize like that. Uh, so I, I, I just don't do it a lot. But anyway, I, I'm really enjoying that. Hoping to finish that in the next week. All right. So the other thing that I went and bought right away because I had seen the trailer for it was The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay. This movie doesn't come out until February. I will link the trailer below. Um, the trailer scared the crap out of me. It's the new M. Night Shyamalan movie. And I, full disclosure, I am not a horror movie person. Sometimes I don't mind, like every now and then, I'll be like, all right, I'll watch that. But generally speaking, I'm not a fan of jump scares. I don't like like Halloween, all those kind of movies. Scare, not only do they scare the crap out of me, but I'm not a big fan of gore. So the combination of like jump scares and gore, it's not a fun experience for me. I just watch it with dread. However, um, I do want to see this movie because it stars Jonathan Groff and um, Ben... Um, I should know I'm married to him. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not married to him. It's Ben Allridge and Jonathan Groff playing um, a married couple who have a, um, a child and, and go away to a cabin uh, at the end of the world for a little vacation. And what happens, it looks absolutely terrifying. Um, so I thought to myself, I need to read this book because I can't see the movie if they're going to die. But if they're going to die, I want to know before I see the movie, <laughs> if I see the movie. <sighs> Crazy, I know. Okay. Um, so then I got into this thing where I started pulling books that all had murder in the title. They're not exactly um, uh, horror books per se, but the first one was Richard Dossman's The Thursday Murder Club. This is why. Okay, I know a lot of people that like these. I know they're kind of like a cozy, they call them like a cozy murder mystery. I haven't read any of them and yet I keep ordering them. So now there's a third one that just came out this past week. And I thought I need to start this series, at least to find out if I want to continue with the series or just sell the books off. So anyway, I'm going to jump into the Thursday Murder Club. Um, that's one of the ones I'm going to read. Um, 
of my murder trifecta here. The next one is something I, I talked about a few weeks ago. Um, everyone in my family has killed someone. This will be out in January in the States. This is an Australian writer, Benjamin Stevenson, who uh, this was a huge bidding war to get the rights to this book. HBO is going to do it as a series. Um, so I uh, we'll see. Um, I have no idea. I, do you know I say that a lot? We'll see, but we'll see. So that's another one of like killed murder. Um, the last one potentially is this one, which I got from Book of the Month Club this month. Uh, Killers of a Certain Age by Deanna Rayborn. I've talked about this as well. It's about the uh, group of um, older women who were all previously assassins, who someone is trying to take them all out and they band together to find out who is trying to kill them. Um, it sounds really funny. I know a lot of people who've read it and just said it's a, just a good, a good romp as it were. So, um, so gonna, I don't know that I'll get all to the, I'll get, I don't, don't know that I will get through all of those or even focus on all those, but they all seem like quick light reads to probably put between the National Book Award selections. That's my thought there. Um, then the book of Goose, which, you know, I picked this because hello, it's seasonal colors. <laughs> um, Union Lee, I, I listened to her speak on a Barnes and Noble podcast with Jonathan Scoffrey and um, someone else who's blanking. However, I'll try to I'll try to um, put the link below. I'll try to remember to do that because it's really worth a listen. This is about two young girls who are. Uh, well, I will read you. Why don't I just do that? Um, Fabian Fabian or Fabian is dead. Her childhood best friend Agnes receives the news in America, far from the French countryside where the two girls were raised, the place that Fabienne helped Agnes escape 10 years ago. Now Agnes is free to tell her story. As children in a war-ravaged backwater town, they'd built a private world, invisible to everyone but themselves, until Fabienne hatched the plan that would change everything, launching Agnes on an epic trajectory through fame, fortune, and terrible loss. A magnificent beguiling tale winding from the post-war rural provinces to Paris, from an English boarding school to the quiet Pennsylvania home where a woman can live without her past. The Book of Goose is a story of disturbing intimacy and obsession, of exploitation and strength of will by the celebrated author, Ye Yun Lui. So uh, I thought this sounds great. Love this cover, uh, love FSG. So anyway, then I, was gonna to try to get to this in September, I did not. And of course, there's a demon in the title, so that of course means it's relevant for spooky season. Demon Copperhead, which is Barbara Kingsolver's updated version of David Copperfield. This time our orphan is a boy in Appalachia. It revolves around the opioid crisis in this country. Um, but I'm hearing nothing but incredible raves about this. So I'm really excited about this one. Also, lastly, I'm gonna to try to read Toad by Catherine Dunn, which I've talked about previously. This is kind of an unpublished manuscript by the author of Geek Love, which is one of my favorite books. And it should, it seems like is one of those um, classic books that everyone has or will read at some point. So this is her um, new book that's based on her time as a student in Reed College, Reed College, Reed College. So briefly, that those are the things that I have that I'm excited for. I'm also excited about the new Celeste Ng that's coming out, um, which comes out actually, uh, I think next week. I think next week. I'm also really excited about the Alan Rickman Diaries that's uh, slated to come out on October 18th. I've started to see excerpts from it leaking out trashy things like what he thinks of the Harry Potter kids. <laughs> uh, but I'm really excited for that one. So there's a lot of good stuff coming out. So that's why I, I need, it seems like a ton of books, but really one, two, three, four, five. There's only seven books here that are actually physical books. And I don't know that, like I said, I might um, at the end of it all turf one or two of them to make room for other things. We'll see what I could 
possibly get accomplished. You all know how it is. You know, you set out to read something and then suddenly you get distracted by something else. And story of my life. Okay, so um, that's October for me in a nutshell. I hope that you all um, are having a great day and uh, I will see you all soon.